Israel prepares for a potential strike on Iran in coordination with U.S. The U.S. B-2 stealth bombers may be used in this potential strike. B-2 would be used in any American attack on hardened Iranian nuclear facilities like Natanz or Fordo given it is the only aircraft in service that can drop the GBU-57, known as the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, according to Associated Press. Recently, the U.S. military carried out a series of airstrikes against Iranian-backed Houthi militants in Yemen, striking five underground weapon storage sites in an operation that included B-2 stealth bombers. It marked the first deployment of the long-range aircraft to target the Houthis, who have for the last year launched regular drone, rocket and missile attacks at U.S. military vessels and commercial ships in the Red Sea and nearby waterways as a stated protest of Israel's war in Gaza. Officials said the targeted sites were holding missiles, weapons components and other munitions, and initial assessments indicated no civilians were harmed in the strikes. Associated Press says that nuclear-capable B-2 is rarely used by the U.S. military in combat as each aircraft is worth some $1 billion. The B-2 provides the penetrating flexibility and effectiveness inherent in manned bombers. Its low observable, or stealth, characteristics give it the unique ability to penetrate an enemy's most sophisticated defenses and threaten its most valued, and heavily defended, targets. Its capability to penetrate air defenses and threaten effective retaliation provides a strong, effective deterrent and combat force well into the 21st century. The revolutionary blending of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and large payload gives the B-2 important advantages over existing bombers. Recall that Israeli army announced the deployment of the US-made THAAD missile defense system in Israel to counter potential long-range ballistic missile threats from Iran, the current THAAD deployment is part of Israel's preparations for what is described as a major strike against Iran and the Israeli army is coordinating closely with the US, which will be notified prior to any action against Iran. The THAAD system, which will be operated by American personnel in Israel, is designed to intercept ballistic missiles at high altitudes, significantly boosting Israel's air defense capabilities, according to the channel. The system, manufactured by U.S. defense company Lockheed Martin, can intercept both short- and medium-range ballistic missiles. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Thursday that support from his embattled nation's Western allies is key to his victory plan to end the country's devastating war with Russia as he laid out details of the plan to European Union leaders. The EU is a key supporter of Ukraine, a candidate member of the 27-nation bloc, as it fights Russia's invasion that began more than two and a half years ago. Major points of the plan include an invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western-supplied longer-range missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russia, steps that have been met with reluctance by Kiev's allies so far. Immediate invitation to Ukraine to join NATO would be decisive. Of course, membership would follow later, said Zelensky stressing that Russian President Vladimir Putin must see that his geopolitical calculations are worthless. Zelensky added that it is vital to apply pressure on Putin by bringing the war back into Russia so that Russians can feel what war is like. Thursday's talks in Brussels come as Ukrainian troops are struggling to hold off better equipped Russian forces, especially in the eastern Donetsk region where they are gradually being pushed back. Kiev is surviving with Western help, but Ukraine says it is coming too slowly. Putin is preparing his own reinforcements to continue the war, not end it. Of course, Putin wants to match your country's ammunition production by next year. And he's getting help from North Korea with shells, equipment, now even people. And plus Iran. Unfortunately, we are receiving signal that China is still actively helping Russia drag out this war. And we have clear intelligence data. 
we need to strengthen now. The Victory Plan is designed for this moment, and I urge all of you to help make it happen. If we start now and follow the Victory Plan, we can end this war no later than next year. We start our meeting. Immediate invitation to Ukraine to join NATO would be decisive. Of course, membership would follow later. Putin just must see that his geopolitical calculations are worthless. And an invitation now with membership later will have no political cost. It's a strong decision that requires nothing but determination. Welcome, please. Uh, you have the floor. We must continue to apply pressure on Russia on the battlefield. And it's realistic to maintain positions on the front within Ukrainian territory while also bringing the war back into Russia so that Russians can feel what war is like and begin to hate Putin for it. Of presidentship and uh, thanks for all the decisions. Your political decision on 35 billion euros for Ukraine as part of the G7 resolution on $50 billion from Russia assets is extremely important and is needed as soon as soon as possible.